I had a one night stand with a girl I met at a bar, but I ended up falling in love with her boyfriend. It was Friday night and I was out with my buddies at the club. The music was loud and the lights were dizzying. As we made our way to the dance floor, I saw a beautiful girl named Jasmine. I introduced myself to her and as we talked and became curious of each other, I found out that she had a boring and wealthy boyfriend named Jasper. We had a one night stand and when I woke up she was already gone. I couldn't stop thinking about her, so I asked my friend Frank for her name on Facebook. I messaged her and I hoped to see her again, but she was hesitant because of her relationship. Despite her concerns, I convinced her to meet me for a discreet coffee. I arrived early at the cafe, nervous and excited. When Jasmine arrived, I was mesmerized by her beauty and confidence. However, before she reached me, I saw a man approach her. It was probably Jasper, her boyfriend, and I suddenly felt guilty. He was handsome and I couldn't understand why she said she wasn't her type. Since that day, I started to be more hooked with Jasper. I stalked Jasmine's socials and I found out that they also met at the bar where I met her. I instantly found Jasper's account when I scrolled the friend list of Jasmine. I also followed Jasper on his Twitter. His posts were always intriguing and I knew that he would be someone I would love to be friends with, or maybe more than that. So when I saw his tweet about going to the bar alone, I knew that it was my chance to finally meet him in person. I quickly headed straight to the bar, hoping that I would be able to find him. As I walked in, I looked around trying to spot his face in the crowded venue. My heart sank for a moment when I didn't see him anywhere, but then I noticed him sitting alone at the bar, holding a glass of whiskey in his hand. I walked up to him. Hey dude. He didn't respond, so I introduced myself. I could see the pain and confusion in his eyes, and I knew that he had something that he wanted to get off his chest. I'm Henry. Are you here because of a girl? He hesitated at first, but then he looked at me and smiled weakly. Nope. What's your name? I asked. Jasper, he answered. So... I asked, sensing that he needed someone to talk to. I don't know, I'm just kind of sad and confused, he said, taking a sip of whiskey. I nodded, encouraging him to keep going. It's just that, I don't know, my parents have always been really strict with me. They don't like gay people, you know, he said, his voice shaking slightly. I'm sorry to hear that, I said sincerely. Yeah, and the thing is, I have a girlfriend now. She's great and everything, but I just feel like I'm just with her to win my parents' approval, he said, sounding defeated. I want to be true to myself, but I don't want to hurt her, especially that I see how happy she is with me. She's a nice person, a beautiful lady, and my parents like her. I could see that he was struggling to come to terms with his feelings. I decided to tell him something personal about my own life, hoping that it might help him understand that he wasn't alone. I get it, I said. I used to be ashamed of who I was too. I'm bisexual. But then I realized that I couldn't keep living my life for other people. I had to be true to myself, no matter how hard it was. He looked at me, his eyes shining with gratitude. It's really brave of you, he said. I don't know about that, I said shrugging, but I know that it doesn't help to keep living a lie. You have to be honest with yourself, even if other people don't understand. He nodded slowly, still looking unsure. We sat there for a while, talking about life and sharing our deepest fears and regrets. I could see the weight lifting off his shoulders as he opened up to me, and I knew that I had made a difference in his life. You know what, he said suddenly grinning. I'm glad I came here tonight feels so much better now. I'm glad too, I said, returning his smile. We hugged briefly and then he got up to leave. Hey, he said, turning around to face me. Do you want to hang out sometime? I grinned back at him. Absolutely, I said. We exchanged numbers, promising to stay in touch. And as I watched him walking away, I felt a sense of hope for the future. Maybe just maybe, Jasper and I could have a chance. With a little bit of courage and a lot of love, anything was possible. Jasper and I hung out often for a month now, because he always says that his girlfriend is busy at work, so he doesn't have a companion. However, I doubt that because I heard last week from Frank that he had sex again with Jasmine. If only Jasper would know what his girlfriend had been doing, he would surely be mad. But it's still an advantage for me since I know that Jasper and I were always having a good time together. Still, thanks to Jasmine's busy schedule, Jasmine and I didn't talk again since the day we agreed to meet each other at the coffee shop. I've always been adoring Jasper from the day we met. I've seen girls fawn over him, blushing and shouting his name whenever he enters a room. And here I am, holding on to my composure, acting cool. But deep inside, I've been enamored by this guy's bright blue eyes, a chiseled jawline, and his impeccable sense of humor. So when he agreed to come with me to this exclusive billiards game, something that only VIPs can rent, I mustered up the courage to make a bet with him. Hey man, I bet that for every ball I shoot, I can kiss you anywhere I want. I said as I brandished my pull cue. I nervously ran my fingers through my hair, trying to act like it's no biggie. Jasper couldn't help but form a mischievous smile. 
Oh, so you're in a rush to get all the smooches you can get, huh? He walked towards me, leaning on his cue stick. What do I get if I make a shot? I bit my lip, trying to hold back a smile of my own. It's not every day I get to make this kind of deal with the guy I like. Oh, you can touch any part of my body, I teased, trying to be casual. Jasper chuckled, clearly enjoying this little game. Challenge accepted. The game started in good spirits. We were joking, laughing, and taking shots at a good pace. But every time I missed a ball, I can feel my heart racing. I wanted to reach out and kiss Jasper immediately, but I held back, trying to pace myself. Meanwhile, Jasper was getting more and more daring with his shots. He was aiming for the most difficult shots, and when he made a particularly tricky one, I felt his hand brush against my back for a second. It was exhilarating. When I finally made three consecutive balls, I felt like I could jump out of my skin. With excitement, I walked towards Jasper, closing the distance between us. I could see his pupils dilate as I got closer, and my heart thudded in my chest. I leaned in and gave Jasper a soft kiss on his lips, relishing in the sensation of his plump lips. I heard him sigh contently, and so I pulled him in for a deeper kiss. I felt a shiver run through me as his lips parted, and I gained more access to his mouth. He pushed me away lightly, looking down on the floor. I... I can't believe we're doing this, he muttered softly. I felt my heart fall to my stomach. Had I gone too far? Had I lost my chance with Jasper? But then he looked up at me, a part of his hair falling over his forehead, and I saw the glint in his eyes. But damn, that was good, he added, a sly smile forming on his lips. And with that, we continued our game, stealing kisses and touches whenever we could. The tension between us was palpable, and it felt like this was the start of something special. As the night wore on, the bar started to empty out. The pool hall was just for us now, and we took advantage of that. We played billiards, drank beer, and stole kisses whenever we could. As my time with Jasper came to a close, I knew that this was the first step in our relationship. Let's do this again soon, Jasper said as we ended our game with a tie. He leaned in, giving me a final kiss on the lips. And I knew without a doubt I would be coming back to this bar again, to the pool hall where we first discovered our true feelings for each other. I never imagined that my life could take such a sudden terrifying turn. Jasper and I were already in a secret relationship. He can't break up with Jasmine yet since he still doesn't know what to do if his parents found out that he cheated on her. So we're taking things slowly. I always thought that we had everything under control, that we were discreet enough to keep our relationship hidden from prying eyes. Somehow we'd managed to keep it all under wraps, sharing stolen moments behind closed doors and quick, curative glances in public. Until Jasmine saw us. I remember the fear that gripped me when I saw Jasmine's face looking at me through the window of Jasper's car. It was like I'd been hit by a bolt of lightning, a searing shock that shook me to my core. I knew in that moment that everything was about to change, that we'd been caught in the act and there was no way of turning back. Jasmine was furious when she found out, and it was understandable. She'd been cheated on, betrayed by her boyfriend, and I was the one complicit in it all. I could see the anger in her eyes when she confronted Jasper, the hurt etched deeply into the lines of her face as she tried to make sense of it all. But what hurt the most was the way she turned on me, as if I were the one to blame for the entire mess. Since when have you been doing this to me? She hissed at him, her eyes still fixed on me. Jasper, of all the people you'd choose to cheat with, you'd rather choose a... a gay? I could feel the blood rushing to my cheeks, hot and angry, but I was always careful, always measured in my behavior. Jasper looked at me, sheepish and contrite. I'm sorry, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just... I couldn't resist him. Something broke inside of me then, a strange and awful feeling that made it hard to breathe. The weeks that followed were tumultuous. Jasper and Jasmine got back together. However, every time I saw Jasmine, she would turn away from me, her body tense with anger. I knew she was trying to get under my skin, to hurt me with the best way she knew she could. She spread rumors against me in the internet. She said that a gay almost ruined her relationship with her boyfriend. Of course, she got sympathy from people. She even mentioned my name in the comment section. But she deleted it after some people who knew me bashed her. And she's still not contented. Then the worst happened. Jasmine started attacking me physically. And I knew that something had to be done. I couldn't keep living like this. And the constant fear of what she might do next. So I made the decision to confront her directly. To try to reason with her. It was a foolish plan in hindsight. I should have known that someone like her would never back down, that her anger and bitterness would only get fueled by my attempts at a reconciliation, but I had to try. You have no right to treat me like this, I told her, my voice shaking with anger. Oh please, she snorted. You're a freak, a disgusting pervert who can't even keep his paws off my man. I felt the tears welling up in my eyes, but I refused to let him fall. 
This isn't about me or you, I said, trying to remain calm. It's about Jasper. Why can't you accept that he loves me? And nothing you say or do can change that. He just chose you because of family pressure. Also, you don't really love him, right? You said it to me. You're only using him since he's spoiling you with money. She just laughed. A cold and bitter sound that echoed around the room. Love? Don't make me laugh. Jasper doesn't love you. He just used you for a cheap thrill and, well, you're right. I don't really like him, but I like his money, so I love him for that. I will never let you get near my man again. It was like a slap in the face. The cold hard truth finally hitting me. What if she was right? What if Jasper was just using me and there was nothing more to our relationship than a physical attraction? I felt sick at the thought of it. My heart breaking at the mere idea of losing him. But just as we argued, I suddenly saw Jasper at the back of Jasmine. His eyes were dark and I could sense that he's so mad. So you only loved me for my money? Jasper's voice was cold and terrifying. Jasmine became shocked suddenly. Didn't know what to say. No, no babe, it's not like that. Jasper pulled out his wallet and threw dollars on the floor. We'll take it. Maybe it will love you back. I gasped when Jasper grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the direction of his car. As soon as we got inside, he suddenly wrapped his arms around my neck, pulling me for a hot and intimate kiss. I missed you. So much, he said in between our kisses. I was panting and couldn't process the things that happened. Gosh, I missed him too. I was so lonely when I chose her over you, but I was glad that she revealed her true colors, Jasper said before pulling me again for another kiss. Jasmine was so desperate to ruin my relationship with Jasper, she told his parents of what happened. That Jasper is gay and now has a relationship with a man. Jasper's parents were furious. They told him that they would disown him if he didn't end our relationship. I knew how much Jasper loved his family, and I didn't want him to choose between me and his family. However, I also knew that I couldn't live without Jasper. I loved him too much. I was willing to fight for our relationship, no matter what it would cost. And so, I told Jasper that we should talk and decide on what to do. We met at a small cafe that we loved to go to. Jasper looked troubled and distant, as if he wasn't himself. We talked and I knew that he was torn between his love for me and his family's expectations. He told me that he didn't want to lose his family, but he also didn't want to lose me. I held his hand tightly and looked into his eyes. Jasper, if you choose me, I will always be here for you, no matter what. Jasper took a deep breath and tears were starting to form in his eyes. He nodded. I chose you, Henry. I love you and I want to be with you. We hugged each other tightly and it felt like we were the only ones in the world. But our happiness didn't last long because on the next day, Jasper came in my house mad. So you and Jasmine had sex months ago? I was stunned with Jasper's statement. What? what? I don't know what to say. Don't even try to deny it, he screamed, making me feel more nervous. He threw pictures on the floor and I was surprised to see that it was me and Jasmine, kissing at a hotel. It was taken on the day we first met and had a one night stand. I didn't know that she took photos of us. She told me that you had a one night stand many months ago and that you ruined our relationship because she didn't want to get out with you again. He gave me cold stares and I could feel the tension between us growing. I tried to explain what really happened between me and Jasmine, but he didn't want to listen. Whatever you want to say, I won't believe you again. Congratulations, Henry. You have everything planned. I thought you fell for me too, but you just tricked me and I was a fool for believing you. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Jasmine at the bar. After all, she was the reason my relationship with Jasper ended. I watched from afar as Jasmine flirted with a guy while smoking a cigarette. I had to confront her. Jasmine, I said, causing her to break her kiss with the guy she's flirting with. She then faced me. What do you want? She asked. I can't help but grin sarcastically. You just acted like a broken-hearted brat and ruined a relationship. Is that no big deal to you? She smirked. Well, I don't really care. Jasmine took a puff of her cigarette and blew the smoke in my face. She looked at me in the eyes and sneered. I don't want you to be happy, Henry. At that moment, I felt a burning anger inside me. How could someone be so cruel? I left the bar feeling hurt, betrayed, and angry. I needed to get revenge on Jasmine. When I saw her car parked in the street, I punctured her tire and grabbed a bright red lipstick from my bag. On the glass of her car, I wrote big bold text saying, I'm a gold digger. I walked home feeling satisfied. I knew Jasmine would see the message eventually, and I was sure she would be furious. As I scrolled on Facebook, I saw a viral post. Someone took a video of Jasmine while she was kissing the random guy she was with at the parking lot. Before she could even open the door of her car, a woman appeared from the dark and slapped her face so hard. It was the wife of that guy, and the texts I wrote on her car are what people call her on the comments. A gold digger. Karma really made its way to Jasmine, and I knew it really pissed her off so bad. Days turned into weeks, and Jasper still wasn't talking to me. 
I missed him so much, and I was afraid that I could not fix our relationship again. One night, I decided to visit him. I climbed up the tree beside his window to sneak out. When I got to his room, he was surprised to see me. I could see that he was still hurt and angry. I took a deep breath and spoke. Jasper, I need to tell you something. What could you possibly say that could make me forgive you? He spat. I continued, ignoring the backlash. Jasmine's lying. She wanted to break us apart. The truth is, she had been cheating on you many times. I saw her dating other men at the club, and I was intrigued by her beauty. I didn't know that she had a boyfriend when I approached her. When I found out about you, I was attracted to you. That's the truth. Jasper froze. And I regret that one night with her every day, Jasper. I love you. Only you. Please forgive me, I pleaded. Jasper was in deep thought, and I couldn't read his expression. I didn't know if he believed me, or if it was enough to make him forgive me. Then, he broke the silence by saying, Henry, I don't know what to believe anymore, but I miss you, and I'm willing to give us another chance. I hugged him, and we kissed. It was the best kiss we'd ever had, and it was like time had stopped. We spent the night cuddling, talking, and catching up. Everything was slowly coming back to the way it was before. Jasper introduced me to his parents after that. I wasn't nervous at first because I knew how much he loved me and how much he wanted his family to know me. But as soon as we stepped inside their house, his mother's sharp stare sent shivers down my spine, and I knew that she didn't like me. She eyed me from head to toe as if appraising my worth, and her cold gaze made me feel small and insignificant. So this is the person you've been talking about, Jasper, she said, her voice dripping with sarcasm. I thought you had better taste. I felt my face flush with anger and embarrassment as I tried to keep my composure. I'm sorry if I've offended you, I said, trying to be civil, despite her hostile reception. It's not that you've offended me, she replied, her tone still laced with hostility. It's just that I can't understand why my son would pick someone like you over Jasmine. I felt my heart sink at the mention of Jasper's ex. I honestly didn't know what to say or do. Mom, please, Jasper said, his voice firm but gentle. They'll make it harder for us. I love Henry, and that's all that matters. The room fell silent as Jasper's words hung in the air. His mother seemed taken aback by his boldness, but she quickly recovered and turned to him with a frown. Just can't throw everything away for some gay, she said. What about Jasmine? She's perfect for you in every way. Jasper's father coughed uncomfortably, clearly not wanting to get involved in the argument. I could see Jasper's jaw clenching, his fist tightening by his side, but instead of getting angry, he took a deep breath and spoke up. Mom, please, understand that me and Jasmine are over, he said, his voice strained. I've moved on, and Henry is the person I want to be with. It's my decision, not yours. If you can't accept our relationship, then I'll leave this house. Disown me if you want. I don't really care at all. Months went by. Jasper's mom is slowly being casual to me. I knew that it wasn't her first choice for her son, but I was grateful that she was trying to be civil. Jasper and I continued to grow closer, and our relationship only got stronger with time. We had our ups and downs, of course, but we always managed to find our way back to each other. One day, while we were both on a walk in the park, Jasper asked me, Henry, will you say yes if I ask you to marry me? I was taken aback at first, but as I looked into his eyes, I knew that my answer was yes. I loved him more than anything in the world, and I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. What about your parents? Your mom doesn't like me. He shook his head. Well, I'll fight for you. For us. I don't want us to be separated again. Driven by his words, I nodded in agreement. He smiled and hugged me very tight. As Jasper and I shared the news of our engagement with our families, I couldn't help but feel nervous about how his mother would react. After all, the last time I saw her, she was cold and dismissive towards me. When we finally sat down with his parents to break the news, his mother's face betrayed her lack of enthusiasm. An engagement? She repeated with a raised eyebrow. I see. I braced myself for the worst, but to my surprise, she didn't say anything negative. Instead, she asked us all sorts of questions about our plans, our future, and how we envisioned our lives together. By the end of our conversation, she even had offered to help us plan the wedding. On the day of the wedding, the air was filled with excitement and anticipation. As I walked down the aisle, arm in arm with my father, I caught a glimpse of Jasper's face and I felt my heart swell with love and gratitude. As we exchanged our vows, I felt a sense of peace and happiness wash over me. I had found my soulmate in Jasper, and I knew that nothing could ever separate us. The end. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to become part of our Rainbow Force and stay wholesome.